Much love and respect live from uh, Miami Beach, South Beach. We're technically, uh, technically Miami Beach, Florida. It's a beautiful uh, day. Is it Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday, December uh, 15th, something like that. 14th, I don't know, 13th, 12th. It's Tuesday, December something. Uh, I'm not really in an artificial construct contract. Not even need to know what day or time it is. To be honest, it's me in Miami, I'm on the beach, living my dream life. I, uh, I woke up and I had an amazing uh, vinyasa uh, yoga flow. At uh, actually my first friend that I made in college uh, when I was 17 years old. Uh, my just uh, acquired an awesome yoga studio. And, uh, I'm so glad. Encourage everybody to do that, and I did a bunch of great meditations today. Um, in addition to the yoga and prayer and worship, and I just feel so blessed that uh, that I'm able to live in this this level of enlightenment and, uh, and well-being. And I realized, quite frankly, man, we as men um, and we as black men in particular, especially in the United States. Uh, the priority of this country has never been our, our mental health and our physical health and well-being. And uh, being in solidly in my 30s, I feel very, very blessed that I'm at a point in my life where, uh, man, I'm whole and I'm meditated and, and I'm completely surrendered uh, to the most high and excited and, and just grateful and able to focus on you know, what I'm really here to do on this planet. You know, what I've been really for, uh, God and, and for others and for Allah, for Yah, um, the who I tonight just I feel very blessed. And uh, I just want to encourage everybody that's uh, that's that's gonna watch this to uh, keep God first, pursue God in all your alignment and everything you do. So I'm definitely living proof. Like I can definitely remember um, on my entrepreneurial journey. I remember one night. It was one of the one of the nights when like I had no money, nowhere to sleep, I'm literally sleeping on this beach. And uh, that night, it was actually like a, a white clef was performing. And I can remember like going to sleep and like nothing going on like, like to their concert. And it was the only night where that that like one of the only nights that never really happened. It happened a couple times on the journey. It's just like crazy enough. Like I think back and I'm like, man, I was supposed to be awesome. Rapping with this dude, you know what I mean? It's like this is this is funny how like life works, you know. And uh, it's definitely been a rosy entrepreneurial journey. It's been a lot of a uh, lot of challenging and pain, um, but knowing how to clear your mind is such a gift. And me learning how to clear my mind and just be present and meditative to a point where I can do anything and we can do anything. And like people say that it sounds good. I just feel blessed that I figured it out. And I don't know at all, but I feel blessed that I, I, I figured some things out. And, and, and I know I got extremely high goals in terms of uh, my expectations and, and world leadership and, and, and global leadership and governance and uh, sovereignty and the over the business world and, and uh, starting million dollar companies and trillion dollar entities and $1 trillion dollar global macroeconomic affairs. And, uh, geopolitical unrest and strife and being one of the voices that's called on and that's actionable and uh and clarifying some of the wicked hegemonic institutions uh, significantly exacerbating uh, and, uh, in, in extreme inequality and lack of opportunity and i feel very 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 blessed that you know on a given day if i would have told probably like i can remember like five my fifth grade teachers. Oh, I'd be like, you know, when I grow up, every day I'm gonna be talking to billionaires and flying around the world and like live where I want. And play. Like, none of this, like, very no consistent voices told me this was realistic. I want to shout out, you know, I, like I love my mom, my, my cousin Tanya, you know, my sis. Like, 
I've had like people uh, pour into me in, in, in different periods, especially. But like, I'm not even living in a realm of reality. I'm living in a realm of divine manifestation, and just only the Lord, only the sovereign God, has, uh, has ordained this path. And everybody don't get it. I'm sure some people still like people chip and devalue me every day, especially in this country. But I just you know, it's kind of better that way. I feel like. I kind of like being like my privacy and my freedom and the fact that like a lot of people don't really know who I am. I can like go anywhere. We, like, we can get on a plane and uh, it's just how we be like somebody can call us to the jet. Like, yo, we need you out here. You know, it'd be normal. I feel very blessed, very grateful. Hallelujah. Uh, they don't give a heck about us and they definitely don't care about us in terms of our, our economic priorities and our mental and spiritual. So, you know, I'm excited for my for my brother Shift um, and Shift in the Culture and Power 24 Mother the King Day Weekend in Denver. And, um, and I hope everybody can make it. Put the link in a, in a, in a bio. And, uh, oh, I got to think, like, ironically enough, uh, this F1 hoodie that I got in Abu Dhabi, you know, again, like just unrealistic stuff, right? Like, bro pulls up on my birthday. Like, she don't want me to message on the side, but next thing I know, you know, because it's like, I'm in the box. And then, link me. Next thing I know, I'm, I'm like, yo, I need, I'm going to go F1. And like, in my head, my man's like, oh, the paddock is how you're supposed to do it. And they like, oh, the paddock to the five ends. But, I, you know, just how the how God work, how, how the God work. We just end up turned up. <laughs> it's just, it's like a thought, a wish it ends up like appearing. And I know that it ain't even like, it ain't normal to be at this level and manifesting at this level. So we just giving the most high all the glory and praise and encourage everybody to clear their minds. And, uh, yeah, but oddly enough, so apparently the paddock was sponsored by uh, Worldwide Tech, which is uh, the CEO and founder is uh, it's a brother from St. Louis named David Stewart, who's built an amazing legacy, you know, and very adamant about his Christian faith and business. And I want to shout that man out for love, and indirectly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just, you know, I'm inspired by brothers like that, and I feel very blessed to be ascending to a whole new level of, uh, of wealth opportunity and health and manifestation and divine prophetic manifestation and just giving the, the most high all the glory and praise and just worship and you know just prayers for uh prayers for peace and from from palestine to jerusalem i mean y'all know i was out in uh jerusalem y'all know i love my faith my elohim adonai uh and at the same time i'm right uh just just love and respect for everybody man if it was up to me it would be you know, like babies getting killed you know that's uh, brown babies, black babies, white babies, Chinese babies. Feels up to me, everybody will live in peace and harmony. Um, evil people would be. You know, I didn't make the order of the world, and I just pray for the peace because I'll be seeing all them babies, uh, uh, all the children getting killed, and it's just like, man. Then just like all the brothers out here, uh, I want to wish a happy birthday to. Uh, I didn't even know who the young man was, but I had the privilege of uh, of sitting next to this guy and then uh, experiencing a great uh, birthday breakfast um, with the brother ATL Jacob, who then I found out, because the <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing, but all I can say is the brother, the brother is inspiring and I wanna encourage all of our brothers that are struggling with child access issues or issues regarding um the, the family court uh, just pray uh, just pay attention to what i'm about to do because i'm about to do something pretty unprecedented uh and you know I, like i try to like i keep praying for the lord to 
uh, help me be a man worthy of leading my family and, and, and worthy of honor. And you know what I realized? It's like, if I'm eating healthy, working out, praying, meditating, like, y'all first, like, I'm going to the church, to the masjid, to everything. Like, I'm, I'm clearing my mind. But the world is so wicked. Like, hey, everybody ain't doing that. They're making these decisions. And I'm coming from a place of clarity and, like, perspective and, 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 and dealing with wicked systems that is built upon uh, uh, me not being able to be a parent or a man, and especially when I'm down in the same castle. I was too too lost this. Like, this society in which masculinity is, is, is weaponized and, and uh, especially, you know, I'm a black guy with, 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 with locks in America, right? That's like not backing down, you know. So just pay attention to what I'm about to do. I don't, I don't know what everything in, in like you know, traditional ways people just get the lawyer, pay the lawyer, and I thought a lot, I thought a lot about that. So I'm about to change some laws and policies regarding parental access. You know, my daughter suffered. Uh, this past seven months, I haven't been able to see her legally. And that's, I want vengeance, but not even against like a person or like, you know, a, a, like an ex. Like that's not, people like without the enlightenment are just going to play in their own self-interest and follow the rules and, and none of us are perfect. However, like vengeance has to come against this apparatus that is facilitating such a societal issue and the world which in particular are bereft of uh, being able to access their children and then you know the children especially the young ladies go up misguided and just do that to the next guy and these generational issues are, are so apparent and particularly in uh, African American community in the United States that um, yeah, we either got to change this law or lead this country nothing else to say but hallelujah we either going to run it or we out president billions in my 30s